certainly Sivan was one of the uh, individual original adventurers of that period of the 30s, 40s, 50s, and all the way to the 70s. And he has enough variety of his work. I looked at his work, uh, that's the first time I saw it in great abundance. And I was very impressed with his very local color and yet very modern expressionist feeling for those streets. I felt no one had done the poetry of the suburbs just like he had done. Maurice and I decided to move out to the suburban area of Flushing. After the skyscrapers of Manhattan, the low buildings of Flushing reminded him of those in his Ukrainian homeland. He set about to paint this friendly environment, landscape here and in the countrysides became his passion for years. I always felt, in, in view of his work, that it was uh, um, so different than other expression, if you want to call him a, a, a sort of an expressionist, he certainly was a different kind of an expressionist, one who I think uh, was closer to uh, uh, the European tradition. Um, there was a sense of pathos and that you could feel in his work that you don't feel really in ex most expressionist work. Maurice had that warm quality in his paint, the way he put the color on. You know, he was trying to uh, get the, uh, you might say, the insight into humanity through through his uh, color and, 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 and in the mood of his painting. And that was what I got out of it, you know. And I, I do think he really developed to a point where he, uh, in many ways, uh, you know, fulfilled a lot of his vision. I thought uh, Sivan was one of the best or better painters yeah. in this country, and maybe elsewhere too. I don't distinguish in that, uh, those terms. Uh, uh, one of the best painters around. That there were, you can say, that there were more important painters, but I don't want to go into that distinction here. When you say important painters, and you start, you get into the question of big names and so forth. Maurice should have been a much bigger name, and I hope he becomes, his name becomes bigger in the future. He didn't get his due, that's all. That's all I can say. He was a, uh, I'd hardly heard of him. He was a name for me when I came to Provincetown. Sometime in the latter 40s, it was, and uh, I saw one or two of his paintings. I don't know where, and I said, he's a real painter. That's all, he's a real painter. And uh, then I began to watch out for him. What I liked about his work was his uh, fact that he had an identity. Uh, there's no question that it was Maurice's work. It didn't look like so many uh, people of that period that you could hardly tell the difference between one expressionist and another. They're very similar, they use the same colors, everything of that the same. With Maurice it wasn't that way. With Maurice it was it was basically a very strong individual feeling about life, you know, that completely was absorbed into his work. In other words, there was a, uh, a passion. The emergence, at least I do, I always talk about the, the ability of the artist to merge his technical abilities 
with a singular vision. And that's what I would describe in the case of Maurice, right? That it was obviously uh, on the level of virtuoso technical skill. And the work occupied a very special place in, in, uh, in vision. This is the best you could say for somebody. In the years just before and up to 1968, uh, Maurice had expended an enormous amount of energy uh, on the big paintings. And in the summer of 1968, he suddenly stopped painting. Neither Lee nor he understood what was happening, but he just went fallow. Uh, he had uh, painted these beautiful, exciting, enormous paintings. And he went fallow for about a year and a half until the f two summers later when they were summering at an artist colony in Provincetown and he suddenly picked up brush and paint and ink and he would start painting miniature paintings on scraps of paper. They were usually no larger than the palm of your hand, and yet they were full-scale paintings. They were uh, humorous, they were tragic, they expressed everything that he had been as an artist all his life in miniature form, and they just flowed out of him. He literally couldn't stop painting that entire summer. They were uh, the culmination of everything that he had been as an artist all those years. And he would paint on them rapidly uh, with quick strokes, and then he would toss them aside, and they'd fall to the floor, and Lee would rush to pick them up and take them and dry them and carefully preserve them. And there were literally dozens of paintings done like that uh, almost every day. They expressed every aspect of his artistic personality. And uh, when that summer was over and the work was assembled, it was amazing to see the variety and the nature and the quality of this work, and indeed, in a sense, it was the culmination of his artistic career. It didn't relate distinctly to any other prevailing trends. In that sense, he was an innovator of a uh, surprisingly uh, a private vision.